Auto Trader tells dealers it's still all about the basics. With over 40,000 dealers across the country uh, trying to really understand uh, what consumers are looking for, I think it still needs to be addressed uh, in the digital space with listings, uh, but making sure that the basics are really um, executed properly in, in, in merchandising the vehicle, merchandising the dealership, merchandising your personnel. So on merchandising the vehicle, ensuring that you've got uh, actual photos of the vehicle that's on your lot listed online. We, we still see uh, to a large extent, particularly on new, that they're using stock photos. Um, stock photos actually work as well as no photo on a new vehicle. Uh, the lift in VDPs is, is significant and, and can't be ignored when you put an actual photo of the actual unit online. Pricing. It's not necessary to list the lowest price. When we, I mentioned earlier that the number one reason why someone picks the dealership that they go into, 31% of the time is about service and the salesperson. Price comes out at about 15% of the time, and it's tied with location and the actual unit. It is not the dominant reason why someone selects the dealership that they wanted to do business with. So um, listing something less than MSRP will give you a 51% increase in traffic and the number of VDPs that you get on that unit, but it doesn't need to be the lowest price. And that's maybe the, the trap that we can talk ourselves into because shopping for a car is not the same as shopping for other consumer goods. Making sure the comments are good making sure that they, they tell a good story about the vehicle and that those comments also tell a good story about the dealership that they're going, going to see when they, when they come in. It's not just a, a transaction. There's an ownership experience that a consumer is buying when they buy a car. So what's that ownership experience with that dealership going to be like?